Okay, the next concept that we're going to cover is new to this series. Often, in formal literature, your right hand is asked to do something different from your left hand. So it's important that we start practicing independence early. This next exercise hits just that. I have had this exercise written out at the interval of a sixth, but you can adapt it to any interval that we've already worked on up to this point. A sixth, a fifth, a fourth, and so on. It really just focuses on the independence required between the right hand and the left hand. You want to keep your intervals the same, so I have it written out at the interval of a sixth. Your right hand is at, is at a sixth, and your left hand is at a sixth. However, your right hand is asked to do more than your left hand. Your right hand plays a stepwise motion in eighth notes, while your left hand pretty much serves as the accompaniment role. Notice that my right hand plays independently from my left hand. And that goes for stroke tempo as well. My right hand is going to play a fairly quick piston stroke. You want to make sure the left hand plays the same stroke as well. You don't want to leave your left hand down there even though it's not playing as fast as the right hand. If you find that you're having accuracy problems with this exercise, you might try this. You can leave your left hand actually sitting on the keys while you play the right hand part of this exercise. It makes sure that your left hand doesn't stray and play or move to different notes while you're playing the right hand. Make sure that you're always thinking about ways to solve problems when you're finding something that's not going well. If you're having accuracy issues, it could be an independence problem and you might need to solve it with the, with the exercise I just showed you. You may need to go slower. You may need to play it in a smaller interval. This might be an easy exercise for you to play at thirds. There are lots of different ways that you can adapt all of these exercises so that it really fits your situation best. The second half of this exercise is actually the most difficult part. We're isolating the left hand, and the left hand now has to move in the stepwise motion and jumping while the right hand stays stationary. This is a really critical exercise to practice because in our literature we have a lot of left hand melodies that are played. Also, the left hand is known for doing a lot of accompanying. So you need to make sure that you really work that left hand independent so it can do things all on its own with the right hand staying stationary. This is definitely one of those exercises that you need to take slow. Don't let yourself play this fast and inaccurate. That's really not going to get you anywhere. You need to start very slow and make sure you're playing very accurately before you move on. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this exercise for you.